Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to Asian Program Wizards. Now today we are going to continue with our data passing tutorials, series of tutorials that we had started earlier on. Previously we looked at how to pass simple data, okay, simple data types like boolean and strings and integers from one activity to another and also from one activity to a fragment, okay. Today we are going to see how to pass actually a complex uh, data type like an object okay from like a collection right here from one activity to another actually from one grid view in one activity to another grid view in a separate uh, activity for instance you can see right here these are demo right here you can see we have this particular our uh, main activity right here with the list of data all right these are grid view now if i simply come click my fab button right here is going to open a second activity and pass the data from that previous activity right here okay this is the data that we had in the first activity we just pass it right here to the second activity in fact if we can co go back you can see right here our first activity now uh, doesn't have any data this, this is it this is what we're going to look at so join me we'll get started so the first thing that we're going to do right here, we have our site right here, we already have the source code right here. So you can see it right here, this is the class that we are tackling today, and our data passing are from one activity, one grid view activity to another, okay? We shall be passing data from uh, one grid view to another. Now the grid views of course belong to a separate activities. If you come to that particular tutorial, we already have it right here in the text format. So let's come right here. These are the questions we are attempting to answer in the class. Now how to pass data from one activity to another, how to pass object, of course from one activity to another, how to use the serializable interface. Okay. The component we're going to be using is the grid view. We shall be passing our data. Of course for intent, we're going to be using the array adapter right here to actually bind our data. So the first thing we'll have our build.gradle we're just going to explore them of course in our IDE right here then we're going to have three classes of course a spacecraft collection class as well as a main activity class as well as of course a second activity right here okay so we have two activities main activity as well as the second activity and then of course uh, their loads okay now if you prefer to download the project you just uh, move over the top of this page you have the project then of course download it then of course import it at this let's move over to android studio and then explore our project so of course the first thing you jump over to android studio the first thing is to create our project go ahead type the project name we go to next for me i'm just going with the pi 15 as my minimum sdk then right here for my templates i'm going to go with the uh, basic activity then of course you click next then you click finish it's going to create for us our project once it's created for us this is going to be uh right, right here this is of course my dependencies right here of course we have no external uh, dependencies we just have the app compact right here support library as well as the design support library then of course we're going to move over right here to our layouts in fact uh before that one let's just come right here to our project we're going to go ahead create of course you can see we have to one class spacecrafts collection right here as well as the second activity okay now to create the second activity just right click then come then choose empty activity right here name it whatever you like for me i have it as my second activity so you can see we have two activities main activity as well as second activity then of course for our main activity has these two layouts activity main given that we chose the uh, actually empty activity uh, template uh, the basic activity template it's generated for us two layouts activity main as well as the content main so for the activity main we are not modifying it instead of course you can see right here is actually including the content main okay so if we come over here to our content main that's all going to be adding of course our grid view component 
So in our content main, of course we go ahead add our grid view. I've given it two columns. Then it's our first grid view. Of course it shall get inflated right here. The these uh, levels shall get inflated of course to our main activity. Okay. So that's for our main activity, the two layers. Then of course we also have the activity second right here. Now you can see we also have another grid view, second GV right here. We also give it an ID. So if you come to our main activity, it's very simple. First, we're going to declare our grid view as well as in such sheet, of course, an empty array list right here. Then we have methods right here, populate. This particular method is going to be populating, of course, our array list that we just called uh, spacecraft right here. So we come right here, we add data, of course, uh, to that particular array list. Then we're also going to have at this particular in fact before we come that well, let's come right here to our spacecraft's collection now this is a class that we've made it implement uh, the serializable interface remember we shall be one we shall want to pass actually an object from one activity to another okay an object uh right here we're not passing simple data types you're passing a whole object of course with its instance fields for instance you can see right here we have this property known as spacecraft which is an array list so for us, what we're going to be doing, we're going to make this particular class implement right here the serial, uh, serializable interface. We're going to serialize it, then pass it to our second activity. Then in our second activity, we're going to deserialize it and then uh, just get this particular uh, right here spacecrafts. Okay, we just call get spacecrafts is going to return for us the array list right here. So this it is just a simple class but then only that we're making it uh, implement a serializable interface right here so we come inside uh this we're going to create a simple method calling get data this is going to be returning for us this collection so spacecraft collection spacecraft collection equal to new spacecraft collection then spacecraft collection to set spacecrafts we set this array list of spacecrafts that we just filled with the data then of course we come send data method right here we're going to instantiate an intent intent i equal to new intent this that is our context then second activity dot class then i dot put extra we give it an id spacecraft then this dot get data remember get data is returning for us the spacecraft's collection class then we start our activity right here passing in the intent object so we come, we initialize, we reference our grid view right here, call populate data to fill our array list. Then of course set, of course, our spacecraft's collection, our array list right here to our grid view. Then of course when the floating action button is called right here, the first thing we're going to set a GV to set adapter. Then we're just going to empty this actually empty our grid view by setting in a blank array adapter right here okay of course an uh, array adapter object with a blank array list then we call send data send data is going to send data to our second activity if we come to our second activity we have our grid view right here so we simply call the receive data now to receive our data intent i this is get intent we get the intent associated with this particular activity then spacecraft collection spacecraft collection equal to i dot get serializable this i of course is our intent object we call the get serializable passing in the id right here then of course we cast it to spacecraft collection now we're going to have access of course to our spacecraft collection then we simply call get spacecrafts to retrieve of course the collection of spacecrafts now give it a set adapter new array adapter then take not right here the data we simply call spacecraft collection dot get a spacecrafts okay that's it that's it of course you simply we run our project then of course see our result of course for the source code we said we have it right here in our site so of course if we run the project right here you can see this is our first activity with our data in our grid view okay this is of course in the landscape mode now we can go ahead if we click our fab button it opens the second activity passing in our data actually we're going to be making use of the serial uh, 
serializable interface okay so we shall be serializing a whole class and then passing it to the second activity and then we uh, deserialize it over there that's it that's what we've uh, actually that's what we've looked at so if you have this tutorial make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of our classes and also like the video share it of course you can be able we shall be able to find the source code retain our site take care i'll catch you in the next class